howdy, hey y'all. It is your host, Obi Thieverus, or Obi for short, and oh good golly, that felt amazeballs. We are here, we are back, we are back in Cali. It feels good to be back, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. For those of you who don't know, I've been in Utah for this entire period I was gone, and now we just made it back. This is the second night I've come back, and we are here for a video. Told you, I'm about to... I'm about to go crazy on these reactions. So yeah, it was a fun. It was a fun little journey. I'm not gonna lie, the plane trips made me figuratively crap my pants more than a few times. I'm not. I'm not fond of flying, y'all. I'm really not fond of flying. But I did it. Made it there. Made it back here in one piece. And now we are here for this. So if anyone saw my last video, I think it was either my last video or my video before that. I said that I was going to be making a scary reaction video during the night time as a thank y'all for waiting for me, you know, being patient with me. I know I'm not the most consistent uploader, but I'm definitely going to, you know, now that I'm back, I'm going to try and get back into a good swing. Uh, I'm going to start working on a schedule. You know, I want to I want to start working on an uploading schedule. And I'm also going to be taking video requests, like reaction requests. So if you've got a video that you want me to react to, Twitter is the best way to get to me. It's literally the best because TikTok's nothing more than updates for when videos come up. And Instagram is like same thing and maybe some pictures you know, because I, I love photography. Twitter is like my most active. That's where I talk. I do all that. DM me with uh, whatever video you want. Just have the link to whatever video. My only criteria is that it is five minutes or longer and it's React material. It's either got to be funny as hell or scary as hell. And uh, no music video reactions. Please do not send me music videos. I would really not, you know, get copyright claimed or struck. You know, I know people do music video reactions. Maybe one day I'll try that when the channel's bigger, but for now, no, sorry. And with that being said, we are here for a scary video during the nighttime. It is it is the nightly hours, y'all. It is 9.48, and apparently I don't want to go to sleep tonight. <laughs> and I got things to do tomorrow, so... Oh, no. So, here we are with this. It's called 10 Scary Videos I Dare You to Watch Alone. As you can see, I'm alone in my room, but not in my house. Right now, Ma's in the living room. So I am not alone in the house, but I am alone in the room. I've got my door locked, and we just got back not too long ago from Boba. I love Boba. Oh, yeah. And with that being said, we're just going to get right into this mug. This vid is by Nukes Top 5. As you can see, I'm already subscribed to them because I've seen a couple of their videos before, you know, before I was reacting to anything. With 4.29 million subscribers, 1.9 million views on this video alone, and 65k likes. Which means this video is most likely very good. I always like looking at the view to like ratio. That usually tells me how good a video is. Oh no, I'm 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 gonna I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I'm 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 actually kind of scared. I'm I'm not gonna do well with this at all. But here we are. With that being said, links in the description leads to Nukes Top Five, or Nuke Top Fives. Nukes Top Five. Sorry, Nukes Top Five. Link in the description down below. Make sure you comment, like, and share their vids to all of your friends, and send them positive comments because I'm sure this is going to be great. I've seen a couple of their others. And they they were legit, and I was like, well, I'm not going to react to these couple that I saw because, you know, it's not much of a reaction if I've seen the video already. But this, this could actually do it for me, so I might not even sleep tonight. Which is always a positive, I guess, seeing as I have crippling insomnia and somnophobia. Yeah, this is going to be... Who the hell are we kidding? This is going to be god-awful. <laughs> All right, y'all, here we go. Link in the description, Nukes Top 5. 10 scary videos I dare you to watch alone. Here we go, y'all. Let's get this whole town shaking. Oh my god. You know what? I'm really hoping those are outside. I don't know, I just, I keep hearing things. 
man. Literally, the only reason I'm even considering doing this is that I made a promise to y'all that I was going to make this video, and I don't, and I never go back on promises. I really don't like going back on promises at all. So, let's get this whole damn town shaken. This town's gonna be a ghost town by the time I'm done with this video, but let's get it shaken. A man oh, from no. Medellin, Colombia is horrified when his cat starts behaving very strangely and appears to see something that he can't see. Oh no. Was that a shadow thing? Was that like some sort of shadow apparition in the corner? In the right corner? Oh no! Oh my god, I really wanted to sleep sometime tonight. Oh no! I swear, I, I hope I'm not. There, 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 there! Oh God! I hope that's a coat. Oh, I hope I'm just tripping the hell out right now. I swear to God, I saw a shadow figure. Just, you know. Oh no! And I keep my closet door open too. <laughs> Oh no. Oh god. Nieves. Dios mío, parece un. Oh. I don't think I can do this. Nieves. No. Nieves, oye, ¿qué estás viendo? Listen Nieves, to your cat. Nieves. ¿Qué ves, Nieves? What the hell is that thing? What is that thing? Oh my god. What is that? Come on, you tell me you really don't see that right now. I knew, I thought, I was hoping it was like a jacket or a hoodie or like a, a sweater or something. No. Nah. If this thing darts out at the screen, this video is legit going to be over. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. I will, I'll put up the remains of this video if that's what it comes to. All right, man, what's up? I'm not joking with y'all, poor cat. I'm not joking with y'all when I tell y'all I will box the hell out of a ghost, and most likely I'm going to lose, but I'm still going to go down swinging. This is why you need to listen to your animals, y'all. Always listen to your animals. That and kids. Sometimes, for some reason, kids can see all that weird supernatural crap. So dogs, cats, animals in general, and kids, if you have any. Listen to them when they see some weird stuff or they're do acting really weird. This is really a, a good indicator. How does the guy feel? Hey. Oh, what? ¿Qué pasó? The cat is tripping out. Yeah. This is your chance, sir, to move and never go back to that house because your cat's tripping out, especially if they start acting aggressive and they're not normally like that. It's a good indicator that they're tripping out about something. The cat is completely frozen and refuses to move, intently staring at something in the opposite room. The man nudges the cat, pets the cat, and even shakes her, but nothing will divert its intense stare. The cat, who is usually very affectionate, then becomes aggressive and just scratches him. The video has been shared. Yep. They just confirmed that this this cat is not aggressive. They It's affectionate. And if it's going crazy like this, there's something definitely wrong. Also, I probably should not be eating while watching this video, but I'm hungry. I haven't had a whole lot to eat today. I'm going to get some nicey spicy ramen when I'm done with this video. But until then, I got these... Apple slices from Stater Bros. These are actually very good. I told you for some reason apple juice calms my nerves and I don't know why. Or have I said that yet? I don't remember. Anyway, I'm going to choke on one of these apple slices by accident, I swear. Aired and reposted to the internet countless times and of course without a source. 
Many concerned viewers believe the cat saw a spirit or an entity, and some say that they too see a shadow-like <laughs> figure staring back at her. Damn you with the sound effects! Damn you with the sound effects! I hate that! I hate added sound effects. Oh! Oh my god, you're gonna give me a freaking heart attack. I'm too but young to be having you this. Yes, I saw know. it. Down in the comments. And it was not a sweater. I know what the hell I saw. Hi, Joe. Red user Kimberly can't fall asleep one night and decides to get up for a late night snack at 1.30 a.m. Except for her boyfriend and her female roommate Jackie, who are fast asleep in bed, no one else is in the house. So what happens next, understandably, scares the living shit out of her. Please no. Please no. Screw the cereal. Take this. You know what? You take the cereal box with you. How about that? That's what I do. I've got snacks in my room that I keep in here. Oh no. Oh no. There you go. It's not even that important. I'll come back in the morning. Kimberly jumps when a loud female voice can be heard saying, Hi from the doorway right behind her. Oh, Confused by the sound, Kimberly gets up half expecting her roommate Jackie to be standing there in the doorway. But there's no one there. Nope. Even stranger, Kimberly has two small dogs who will usually come running when they hear the rustling of food containers. But the little dogs stay far away and even seem a bit skittish. Kimberly says that her female roommate Jackie was fast as- You know what? I'm glad that the, he talked about the dogs for two reasons. Number one, confirming what I said. Always listen to your animals if you have any. If they start acting abnormally or weird, there's something very wrong going on in, the, in wherever you're at. And second of all, I'm glad he pointed the dogs out in the corner before I saw them. Because if he would not have pointed them out, because I saw their eyes beaming back into the camera, if he would not have said something and I would have seen them before that, that would have scared the hell out of me really bad. That would have been bad. <sighs> ...asleep at the time, and that they have no Siri or Alexa app or other device that could have made the sound. Now, I have to say that Kimberly's frightened response is one of the most authentic reactions I've ever seen. She looks freaky. That's, ex that's exactly what I would have done, except for trying to talk back. I had to turn around and looked. There's no one there. Okay, time to go. Time to go. I need to go to bed. I need to go do something. <laughs> time to go play Fortnite. Out. Oh, Toy Story. We were messing around with my little sister's camera, and we just found something like. Uh, it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. Okay. Uh, How weird. It's a normal Tuesday in October, around 6 p.m., when a young girl takes out her camera to record her new toy collection and talk about her no. day. No. What happens next? No. No. Do not think. For a second, I don't see the doll in the, the, the left corner. Don't even think I don't see that. If that, if that little doll goes... Or, like, turns out the camera or something... Mm-mm. I might have to run for it, y'all. I don't know where I'm going to run to, but I'm going to have to run for it. I'm going to put my boba cup over there. In case I do run, I don't kick all my boba all, all over my floor. Mm-mm. It's downright chilling. Uh. Hey, guys. Today oh. I'm going to show you my scary toilet what the? that I just okay, got sorry. today. I was about to say, is that the scary part? Why do you have...
You got a skibbity toilet doll sock puppet thing. Bruh, that's the real scary part of this video. <laughs> Take whatever you want. Take the doll looking or pointing or something. That skibbity toilet doll thingy sock puppet ventriloquism. That is the true scariness in this video. I'm so sorry. And I'm also not sorry, because how can you sleep with that mug staring you down? Uh-uh, I'll literally take anything else. Why do you have so much... Why do you have so much Skibbity Toilet stuff? She's a big fan of Skibbity Toilet, you can see that. What the hell? Oh, I don't like that. Stay easy, what's up? Real what's up? And I am not joking with y'all. Guys. Y'all. Oh no. Please chill. Chill out. Chill out. Hey. Chill the hell out. Nothing's even happening. You freaking me out. Jump scare. No, don't leave! Oh no, I don't think I can. Guys. Oh no. Oh, the anticipation's murdering me right now. The anticipation is killing me. Oh god. Because that right there is very good for jump scares. That is perfect for jump scares. Mm -hmm. My anticipation is killing me right now, y'all. Okay. I'm gonna hide. I don't care. I have no shame in hiding. Swear to God, I'm not crying, y'all. I'm not being dead serious. Something's my eye. I know y'all probably looking at me like, nah, you definitely crying. I'm not even joking with y'all. I'm not crying. Ow. Ow. What the f This always... This always happens. I need to get, like, eye drops or something. Something's really in my eye right now. So to God, I'm not crying. <laughs> no, I'm being serious, y'all. I'm not. I'm really not crying. But one of these days, something is. One of these days, something's gonna be so scary it makes me cry. I'm just ball my eyes out on camera. I swear. Oh my God. Oh, this is why I don't have vintage dolls and all that weird stuff. Oh, I don't know if I can do this, y'all. This video might be close to being over. The little girl looks up and seems frozen in fear as she stares at something that we can't see. She stares motionless for over 20 seconds and then gets up and hurries out of the room. The camera continues to record and captures something that seems to follow her. Later, the little girl's older sister, Charity Lewis, is looking through the camera's footage and finds this strange recording completely by accident. Charity shares the clip on Instagram and says that before viewing this video, she had no idea that her little sister had experienced anything strange. To this day, the recording remains a mystery. Man. On the road, two men are driving home late at night in Pahang, Malaysia, when something happens that nearly runs them right off the road. Oh no! Come on. Hey, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me! <laughs> okay, that's good. Isn't it just funny to y'all that no matter what language you speak, we all know, I don't care who you are or what language you speak, we all know swear words in English. We all know English swear words. We all do. Don't lie. We all know about the F-bomb. Come on. 
You can speak pure Spanish and nothing else, and you'll know the f bomb. I don't even want to hear it. Stranger, but the two guys but that's have no scary. idea who would be out walking in the middle of the road at 1:41 in the morning. When they review the footage, they are shocked to see that the figure appears to be pale and translucent and seems to disappear as they drive past. The two men start to wonder if they might have had an encounter with a sinister paranormal entity, maybe a spirit trying to make them crash. Well, whatever the case, this boba is delicious, y'all. I always get the stro the the strawberry. Oh my god, the strawberry. The strawberry and the mango popping boba is a wonderful combination especially if you like like squishy boba that pops in your mouth hence why it's called that then this these are the bobas to get i'm just saying but is it a ghost or just some strange person in the road at 2 a.m well whoever the hell it is they should count themselves lucky that they're not in the middle of the road because if it was, it was me i'd run their ass over and then say i didn't see them <laughs> I'm not even joking. It's not going to be me. It is not going to be me. I already get nervous driving at night as it is without something like that doing this. I leave that up to you. Strangers in the Woods. Stealth Camper Sam from the YouTube channel The Northwest Wind frequently sets up camp in public and somewhat odd places like Walmart, a public bathroom, a cemetery, and even behind his neighbor's shed. Why? On one of Sam's stealth camping trips, he decides to set up camp for the night in a wooded park just outside of Cleveland, Ohio. After setting up his tent for the night in the cold January temperatures, Sam starts to get a bit worried about his decision to stay there. I don't know why I'm just spooked. I haven't been saying that, but I've been spooked since I got here. I keep feeling like somebody's watching me. And then seeing that person, I know it's a public park, but still. Then, as night falls, Sam's concerns turn into a real-life nightmare. There's somebody. Hang on. I don't know if they can see it or not through the tent. I don't think so. I'm leaning right up against the light, but somebody's walking around out there very close to the tent. This is the moment, y'all, that y'all know here and now from me. I am carrying a weapon. If it was like like a controlled environment, you know, like a controlled camping where it's like group camping and whatnot, yeah, I don't have to worry about that. But if I'm camping out in the middle of the woods and mind you, I wouldn't be doing that in the first place and there's nobody supposed to be around or whatever, I'm carrying something with me. I, I mean, something's, something's coming with me. <laughs> I'm not going alone. I'm either bringing someone or I'm bringing something dangerous. Hang on. Hang on. Boy, you better get some fisticuffs ready. You better know how to scrap. You better know how to scrap. They're really close now. They're like... Listen. Hello? Hello? While sitting in the dark, Sam hears two people walking around outside his tent. Two? And they're getting closer and closer. Hello? Hello? Shut up! What are you doing? This is classic survival 101 do's and don'ts. This is a don't. Calling out to whatever the hell could potentially be getting ready to murder your ass in the middle of the woods is a don't. Camping out in the woods in the first place is already a don't as it is. And I know, here y'all come in the comments. But you're a country boy, OV. You should be used to the woods. Oh, hell no. Nah. I'll stay in a civilized area, thank you. I might be a country boy, but I was raised city. That's why I don't do woods, forests, any of that crap. No. Close to nature, my ass. All right, I don't like this. Hello? Hello? They're touching my tent. If there's somebody touching my tent, and mind you, let's just say, 
hypothetically, because I wouldn't do this in the first place, but let's just say hypothetically, I'm calling out to whoever it is, right? And there's no one there. No one's making a noise. They're just walking around the tent, but nobody's talking or saying anything, right? And I start seeing them pressing on my tent or hearing it or whatever. I'm letting y'all know right now, I'm either going to do one or two things. If I got a weapon, rest assured I'm stabbing through the tent. Or if I don't and I see like a hand pressing on something, I'm just going to punch your damn hand and be done with it. Then we'll see if you make noises or not. Jackass. <laughs> Hello? No, don't, don't, don't you dare! Right, I'm getting the f out of here. Hello? Hello? I don't know what the f this is, but we're getting out of here. Hang on. Hello? Okay, they're walking away now. What do you want? What do you want? I have a knife. Where's my knife? <laughs> I'm sorry. I have a knife. Where's my knife? <laughs> That's the best damn thing I've heard this whole video. I'm going to give him that. That's probably the best thing I've heard all video. I got a knife. Where's my knife? <laughs> hey. So whatever you want in a fight for my life, in a fight for my life, I'm going to turn this apple slice into a dangerous device. I don't know. I just, I started rhyming and then I ignored. I'm not a rapper nor am I a freestyler. My bad. No, but I'm serious. I will turn this into a dangerous weapon. This apple slice. You can make a dangerous weapon out of almost anything. I don't even care what the hell you say. In, in a fight for your very survival, I'll make anything a weapon. But that was the best thing I've ever heard in my life. I got a knife! Where's my knife? <laughs> like, make sure you're holding whatever weapon you got before you go calling and saying you've got it. Because the worst thing that could ever happen is you say you've got a weapon and then find out you actually don't have the weapon. <laughs> say something, I see you. They collapsed my tent on me. I don't know which way they went. I mm -mm. think they went this way. I see you. Get away! All right, I'm spooked. Oh, wait, just get my headlamp on and we're getting out of here right now. They're just standing there. They're just standing there. What do you want? Menacingly! Leave me alone! They went over that way. I can't see him now. I know you're there. I see you. They collapsed my tent on me and pulled the fly off while I was still in there. It smells like someone's smoking a cigarette too. I smell your cigarette. I think I... All right, we're just going to get out of here. We're just going to get out of here. I'll come back for this crap later. Do I have my phone? I'm going to call. Stay away from me. They're coming behind me. I don't know what they're doing. Go, 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 get them! They could just be around. I don't know. Better start swinging that knife, I'm sucker. Going. They're at my campsite. I see them. I see you reflecting off my tent. Leave my alone! All right, I'm getting out of here. Boy, you better start scrapping. One of them. Okay, here's the trail of some kind. I just ate I just ate I'm soaked. I'm toast. Okay, oh, they're coming. Leave me alone! Okay. about five minutes from the car now but I'm in the big clearing off the path I have the high ground so to speak I can see everything from behind me I hell no I ain't no damn ghost care about no dang high ground a ghost doesn't care about high ground good sir I'm so sorry but no ghosts do not care about 
high ground. And you better start swinging that damn it. Stop talking and telling them, hey, I got the knife, leave me alone. You better just start... I'm not even joking, man. I am not joking with you. I am turning... I'm taking... This is not a knife, it's an apple slice, but... I'm taking my knife, and I'm just turning around. I'm just gonna... You know, I'm just gonna start swinging like freaking mad crazy. Everything's dying. <laughs> Everything. I don't see anybody anymore. Can't hear anybody. If they were coming, I could see them. For a ways now. Right at the edge of the wood line. It's about 150 yards away. Hang on. You see that? I see you! I can see you! Oh, it's, it's getting bigger. Oh no, here we go. Right, let's get the oh, here we go. Here they come. me or something? Or what the is happening? We're getting the it's getting bigger, they're coming this way. Oh, I don't like this. I'm calling the police. Okay. All right, we're getting out of here. All right, lock my doors. What the fuck? What the fuck? Sam attempts to communicate and even yells at the creepy strangers in the woods, but whoever it is doesn't say anything. Understandably, Sam is Well, of course they're not gonna say anything. They're probably trying to rob your ass. And I don't think it would be a prank because that's pretty damn far for a prank. It's just a prank, bro. Nah. Not a damn prank. It ain't gonna be a prank when my knife goes into your rib cage. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, I know I'm I'm being violent right now. It's just it's nighttime. I'm really on edge. This video is really not doing me any favors. Freaked out by the whole situation. Eventually, he just makes a run for it, leaving his camping gear behind. Luckily, Sam makes it back to his car safely. The next day, Sam returns to find his tent and belongings still there in the park. Nothing has been stolen or vandalized, making the whole ordeal even more suspicious and truly disturbing. You can watch this entire creepy video over on the YouTube channel, The Northwest Wind, Siren. Megan Ann is on vacation in St. Petersburg, Florida, when she decides to hey. do some late night fishing with a friend and record it for social media. But things start to get a little spooky. I was out here fishing and sirens came from this island. I swear to God, I have it on video. I'm gonna play it shortly. Did you catch that guy? Okay. I'm probably gonna my cast. Wait till after the cast. I use nothing on your hook. I have a worm. <gasps> First of all, I'm just gonna say before we get into this creepy aspect of the video, that was good form. You already know your boy is a fisherman himself, country boy and all. I love to fish. Uh, and when next time we try going fishing or whatever, I'm gonna try and get it on video. You know, I'm gonna try and vlog it for y'all. That's why I haven't been doing any vlogs as of lately, or why I didn't vlog my Utah trip. I wanted to, but the thing is, I don't have a proper camera, and my phone isn't going to cut it forever, you know? So I need a, an actual, like, a legit vlogging camera. And I also have to make sure that next time I make a long video like that, like, edit a long video like that, that the, that the... Oh, what am I trying to, what am I thinking of here? That the files don't corrupt, because that's what happened on my fishing trip. My last fishing trip, uh, what was supposed to be vlog number two, that didn't go right because the files got corrupted. And I couldn't upload the whole thing, so, but I was able to save one part of it. Anyway, she's got good form. Very good casting form. Let me see that again. I use nothing on your hook. I have a worm. Sounds like birds at first, but clearly not. Sounded like tongues. Am I tripping out? Does that say tongues? Wait, I am not good at spelling, apparently. Sounds like tongues. We're just going to say that. <gasps> you better start running. Y'all better start running. Guys, you hear this? Okay, well, you can't explain that. That's what it's fucking hard. I don't know what else I feel about. Y'all better start running. Stop asking questions. Stop, there's no making here. Stop. 
Megan and her friend both hear bizarre screeching coming from somewhere out in the ocean. Megan thinks that she might have caught evidence of the existence of sirens, mythical creatures that lure their victims into the water to drown them. But her friend seems to think it's a monkey. Now I don't know what it is, but I'm really that's your explanation, huh? That was your big explanation for whatever that said. I don't think any I don't think any animal within the primate species could make that noise. Except maybe except maybe a howler monkey. A howler could probably do that. But at least then there would be a, an explanation. Yeah, I don't even, you know, forget it. We're just going to say it's mermaids, I guess. I don't know. Pretty sure it's not a monkey in the ocean. What? What do you mean? <laughs> okay. Okay, that was funny. That was good. <laughs> uh, that's... <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. It ain't no damn primate. Come on. A birthday surprise. In this next clip, a family is celebrating their grandmother's birthday, recording a video as she's about to blow out the candle on her cake. But then, this happens. Does her hair catch on fire? Wait, oh, that's an elderly grandma. Okay, never mind. My, I, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, miss. I'll take that back. My bad. Anyone else I'll make that joke with? Oh, God! You know, I was, I, for a second, I was considering dropping my boba. For a second, I was... I was considering dropping the boba for a, a split second. Oh my god. A bizarre shadow-like figure seems to run behind the elderly woman at an inhumanly fast speed. Unfortunately, the video was reposted to the internet without a source. But many concerned viewers believe the family captured a paranormal presence. Perhaps even a deceased family member watching over them as they celebrate. But. What do you- Nah, I ain't no damn deceased family member. I'm telling y'all right now. That ain't no damn deceased family member. Mm-mm. you think this is? Let me know. Animal instinct. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna sleep tonight. Uh, hope y'all enjoy. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Whitney works with horses at a large stable in Minnesota. She says that she's been experiencing odd and unexplained events at the stables for a long time and believes that the property might be haunted by some kind of presence. One day Whitney is outside taking the horses back to the barn when she notices that the animals are behaving very strangely. Here we go again y'all. Here we go again. Animals acting weird and whatnot or abnormally. My hair is not cooperating. Here we go again with the whole animals acting weird and strange and abnormal and not how they're supposed to. Here we go again. This trope. Just like clockwork. She notices that the animals are behaving very strangely, seemingly spooked by something in the field. Come up! No! Well, at, least this one's, at least this one's in the daytime. Never mind. I don't think that's gonna help. Better get him going then. Let's go, Pacey. What the f are you guys staring at? I'm stuck here by myself. Oh, they're all running for it. Well, okay then. Mm -hmm. What the f is that noise? While following the horses, Whitney hears a bizarre sound coming from somewhere nearby, almost like someone moaning. And then the 
horses get spooked again. What the f Whitney is confused because the horses seem terrified and Time make a run for it. But then she hears loud unexplained banging coming from an empty grain silo nearby. Whitney is freaked out and she just nopes her way right out of there. Nope, 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 nope. You know what? Good job. You did the right thing. She just, she just, her way out of that one. That's exactly what I would have done. The Night Visitor. Diane from Ventura County, California has a YouTube channel about growing and preserving food called Diane the Canning Nana. Now she has never posted anything on her channel that is remotely related to the paranormal. But one morning around 2 a.m., Diane gets a motion alert on her security camera. When she checks the footage, she finds something truly creepy. Oh no. Ah! Oh God. I can't look, y'all. I'll gladly wuss out. While everyone is fast asleep just after 2 a.m., the apparition of what Diane believes to be an older woman with long hair can be seen walking through her living room. Even Diane's cat can be seen in the background fearfully looking towards the strange figure. Now, Diane says that she has felt a presence in her home for months but this is the only time that she was able to capture it on camera. But it gets even creepier because when the footage is brightened, we see that whoever or whatever this is just seems to disappear into thin air. Again, Diane has never posted anything paranormal other than this one video. Hidden, popular Japanese ghost hunters I'm sorry if I'm getting really silent. I just don't think I can take any more. I'm a lot better with dealing with this sort of stuff in real life than over a video. Because for some reason, I don't know, but for some reason, every time it happens in real life, it's like more like a fight for survival. But I know something's probably not going to jump out at the camera, like out of the screen at me. So for some reason, I wuss out a lot easier during videos because in, in real life, I go into fight or flight mode. I'm either running or I'm fighting. But videos, totally different story. We're done. We are done. I can't, I can't do no more, y'all. This has probably been one of the worst ideas I've ever had in my entire YouTube time. <laughs> I'm going to like this. Nukes top five, very good job. Scaring the absolute crap. I mean, I'm drained, y'all. I'm drained. Screw the ramen. I'll just stay here until I either feel better or until daylight freaking hits. Daylight should hit pretty quick now since it's, I think it's summer or around summer. If not, it is summer. Daylight hits easier and faster. We're done. We're done. Nukes top five. Great job. Ten scary videos I dare you to watch alone. I did watch alone and I suffered pretty bad, pretty badly because of it. My energy is drained, y'all. I am drained. I'm drained. I, I, I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm so drained. I think I'm just going to stay up the rest of the night. I'll be fine. Oh, God. I'm done. Done. We're done. Link in the description. Nukes Top 5. Original video. You all know. Y'all know what to do. Like, comment, share the vids, share positive. I can't even think. I can't even think properly. I really can't even think properly. Like, comment, share the vids. You know, leave positive comments and all that. Please do. Nukes top five. Very good video. You got me pretty damn badly. And if nothing else, I'm very drained. And we're... I hope y'all freaking enjoyed my video because I don't know when I'm doing another one of these again. A scary reaction during the night. I'm not doing another one of these for a very long time. I'm sorry. But I'm also really not sorry. I'm done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Plus, Ma's probably about to fall asleep, if anything, so I better shut the heck up so she can sleep. 
you all enjoyed my video, you already know what to do. Like, comment, and share this video to all your friends all across the globe. It feels good to be back, just not good to do this again. I really don't know what to say anymore. Subscribe, become part of the Overraptor clan, and we are done here. With that being said, Ovi out. Mm -hmm.